what's happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got another huge update guys i'm coming on that disc attorney over in fulton county georgia you guys seeing fanny willis back in the hot seat back in the headlines once again as she has now went directly against judge scott mcafee's orders guys about to get herself kicked off this case once and for all getting her case ended because she can't stop going you know testifying in this black church guys trying to play that race card and play the victim Race baiting and saying that only the only reason all this is happening against you know Fanny Willis is because that she is black, guys, and she is you no know, playing the role as a disc attorney very impartially, guys. She's you know conducted her role as you know as fair as possible, and they just keep coming after her. And we all know that not to be the case, guys. Judge Scott Mackey sounds like he's had enough of it, guys. Let's get ready to toss her off the case in this next clip. I'm excited to check it out and see exactly what's going on, what the judge is going to do, because no, he has the final say. So we're gonna get straight into the clip. And I'll get my thoughts on the back end of the video, guys. So definitely stick around to the end. So you guys get my thoughts on the back end. And I'll see YouTube push this video out. Definitely stick around until the end, you guys. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Before we even do that, though, make sure you guys hit that like button. And also hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. Let's get into it, y'all. Funny Willis is back in church and she's preaching. I know you didn't expect this. We need to talk about race. Well, about race. Again, welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. We have a ton of Fannie Willis news, many different sources. So stick around. Hope you'll subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment. This isn't a one way thing. I don't just put on a show for you and you just sit there in your easy chair doing the swipe on your. You have a job, New York Sun. Fannie Willis, in pursuit of a Trump conviction, may get gagged for defying judge, quote, talking about race. This is her in a church. This is, first of all, the New York Sun. Therefore, it is almost automatically false because nothing's going to happen to Fonnie Willis. She's not going to get judged for talking in a church. She's not going to get gagged. That's what they do to Trump. They're pretending like there's still justice. Oh, New York Times. You poor, naive, little elite, snobby New Yorkers still believing in justice, you silly dog, you. Here's Fonnie Willis in church. And it's hard out here always having to prove yourself two and three times. Recently, they tell me they don't like me to talk about race. Well, I'm going to talk about it anyway. No, you're wrong, Fonnie. I like when people talk about race. Talk about it all day. See, I like free speech, unlike your side. It's your judges that stop Trump and put a gag order on him to keep him from talking. I like hearing you yammer on all day about all your problems being because of your skin color and all of my benefits and amazing free money people keep giving me and power and health is because I'm white. I like hearing you talk about that all day. I will protect your free speech. We should be willing to protect free speech with our lives because political dissent yes you should be able to stand up and talk about it so should trump see my problem is when you don't think trump should have free speech or you don't think i should have the right to say hey i don't have much privilege funny i actually think skin color dark light pretty much the same probably how hard you work is probably more indicative of your success level or as thomas soul said there's no amount of racial distinction that is as great as uh, of a benefit or unbenefit as being the firstborn. That is the firstborn she will tell you more about someone's ability to succeed than being white or black. Truth is, it's some challenges that come to being black. Yes, I get it. The world is unfair. I'm, I'm, I, I will absolutely acknowledge that to every black person, but it's not consistently unfair. Sometimes you get a benefit. Sometimes you get a shot. You know, if you're getting pulled over by the police, I get it. And I see so much greatness in this city that has so many great African-American leaders. And I appreciate all of the sacrifice that you all have had to make. I just, I hate the, the, the materialist. It's so Marxist to, to just go and pump your own victimhood. Guys, don't do this to your kids, please. Don't tell them they're a victim. To be in these positions. So Chief Meadows, 
Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for having the intelligence to create an event like this where we recognize that you've had to go through a little more to serve. She's like, you were a real victim. You had to work three times harder. You have the intelligence to make this event. Is this how you guys talk to each other? Are you kidding me? Is this in your culture? Because it's not in mine. The idea that I would go and, I, and uh, tell someone else how hard they must have had it as a victim. One of my white friends going like, Look, I know you had it harder than anyone else. And that's what's amazing. How about just, you worked hard. You worked hard. Rich guy, you worked hard. Fat guy, you worked hard. Skinny guy, you worked hard. I'm so glad you worked hard. And then if you fail, you go, well, you may not have worked hard or you might've made a mistake along the way or just tough luck. How about that? Instead of everything is your skin color. Here's after judges scolding for playing the race card. Fonnie Willis says she'll talk about it anyway. Remember what I said about free speech? I defend Fonnie Willis in general to talk about nearly anything she wants. She's making my point, but she's also impugning the character of anyone who's ever tried to gag Trump. I think Trump should be able to say anything he wants. Mm -hmm. and Fonnie Willis should be able to say anything. In fact, she ought to be able to get on a soapbox and shout it even from a church. Here's Bill O'Reilly. So what, why uh, are the feds involved in looking at Fonnie at this point? To look into what really happened on January 6th, how was there a security failure, but also the select committee on January 6th. So what led us into Fonnie Willis was uh, during our investigation, we uncovered uh, information that the uh, select committee on January 6th was actively working with Fonnie Willis sharing information during the course of their investigation. Wait a minute, Bill, the feds. But they were working with her during the investigation, sharing information. What's concerning to a lot of people is we have uncovered irrefutable evidence that this committee, the select committee was suppressing any evidence that didn't line up with their preconceived narrative about Donald Trump organizing and executing the riots on January 6th. This is a state beef in Georgia. And when you have a federal entity, the January 6th committee, House of Representatives, cooperating with a state beef, that is highly unusual, is it not? It is. It is. Okay, so this is more heat is coming on Fonnie Willis and her or Nathan Wade's time they spent with the White House. That's another huge no-no collusion crime. Uh, by the way, this gentleman is named, uh, he's a uh, governor or whatever it is, Loudermilk. Loudermilk is his name. Now, there have been reports that Nathan Wade, the boyfriend, uh, the top prosecutor for Ms. Willis, visited the White House. We are in, in cooperation with Jim Jordan and uh, Jamie Comer, who's uh, chair of the oversight uh, subcommittee. We're looking into that aspect. We have multiple jurisdictional boundaries there, but Jim Jordan and I have uh, teamed up together. He's looking into... Uh, the visits to the White House uh, while I'm looking into what information was given to Fani. But public. it would be very unusual for a state prosecutor, okay, Nathan Wade, to get admittance into the White House, to talk to the White House. That looks like the Biden White House was coordinating. And that would be, talk about impeachable. Yeah, you got this nobody, Nathan Wade. Suddenly the White House is inviting him over because they're going to construct this whole thing and have Nathan Wade launch it with Fonnie Willis down in Georgia because they're targeting an opponent on the ballot. That's what we're accusing them of. So you really can't do anything about it yet, though everyone is doing investigations and we welcome the investigations. Look, here's Phil Holloway over on Twitter. And there it is in all its glory. This is the application filed with the Georgia Court of Appeals asking them to hear the Fonnie Willis disqualification appeal. It will be assigned to a three-judge panel. This is the first I've heard of this. It requires only one judge to agree to allow the appeal to proceed. So here's the actual legal document down there in the Court of Appeals for the state of Georgia, blah, blah, blah. One judge. And Trump gets the, gets the appeal on McAfee's decision. Now we're down here for citizens... Uh, defending freedom with two more prongs of attack on Fonnie Willis that we've got. CDF's Georgia State Director, Holly Kessler, filed two separate complaints against Fonnie Willis. 
We asked her to explain why she chose to file her complaints in this particular manner. Here's Holly Kessler. In the state of Georgia, we have um, we actually have two avenues uh, for our district attorneys to be able to hold them accountable. Last year, uh, Governor Kemp signed into law SB 92. That allowed for our uh, prosecuting commission to open up a special committee, um, a qualifications committee, and so we can submit complaints there, uh, which is on the state side of things. Okay, so first, that's the Governor Kemp Commission that we've already heard about, okay, and they're already starting to shake the ground on that. And then here's the second one uh, that Holly Kessler talks about here as well as the Fulton County Board of Ethics. We're able to submit complaints there as well. So we thought um, with the situation at hand and everything going on and coming out about Bonnie and everything that we have discovered through our open records request that it was a good idea to go ahead and hit both avenues. Okay, so she also has the Board of Ethics. And so there that's a second line that they're going after Fonnie Willis on. We, of course, enjoy and welcome all openings, all investigations, all court cases, anything legal they can do to Fonnie Willis, we want them to do it. All legal openings, get her. And I love it. I, I got to think Fonnie Willis is going to get the boot. Do you think she gets the boot or does she stay? We're going to find out this week. Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend Doug in Exile, I'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those who want to go over there and check that out, I'll see you guys go over there and show our friend Doug a bit of love. Oh my goodness, guys. What does DA Fannie Willis got herself into now? She just won't stop going up there trying to play that race baiting race card over in that black church trying to say that, you know, she is the victim in this whole situation. You know, she has not brought about or she has not done anything to deserve, you know, the punishment or, you know, the, um, you know, the launches of all the pros that are coming against Miss Fannie Willis, all the investigations that have been opened up against her. Or will not deserve. I mean, come on, guys. She cannot keep getting away with this. Someone has to be able to hold her accountable. Do you have to think the judge is finally going to hold her, you know, accountable in this situation where he has already warned Miss Fanny Willis about, you know, the impropriety that this shows, you know. He has already warned Fanny Willis that, you know, she should not be going back in any church or, you know, testifying anywhere that, you know, this is, you know, she's a victim of the system, you know, because she is black. He has said this multiple times. Now it's up to that judge, Scott McAfee, to ultimately uphold his word, you know, and, you know, hold her to it. You know, Miss Fanny Willis has, you know, went back in that church, tried to play that race baiting race car once again, guys, saying she is the victim um, and that none of this, you know, is deserved, that she has not brought about or done anything to deserve, you know, the investigations on her, which we all know is incorrect. Now we need that judge, you know, hold her accountable and punish Miss Fanny Willis for you know, her wrongdoings inside that church, not once, but twice, guys. But that's okay, though. If Judge Scott McAfee, you know, chokes once again, we already see him, you know, have all the evidence right fall right into his lap, a mountain of evidence fall into his lap, and still not be able to, you know, toss Fanny Woods off the case into the streets, guys. So we might see him, you know, soften it up, giving her another pass, get out of jail free pass once again. But that's all right, guys. We've got this appeals process pending right now. Set the potential for the appeal to, you know, get Fannie Willis tossed off the case. Overruling Judge Scott McAfee would only take one judge to say that, you know, this appeal is a go. Um, and, you know, start that appeal process for Fannie Willis. Um, ultimately get tossed off this case, which we should have seen happen when Nathan Wade and the rest of her office was booted off the case. We should have seen this whole thing in there, guys. This is nothing but a charade political witch hunt, um, you know, brought about by the Biden administration, guys. Fannie Willis, this rogue district attorney, is now weaponized Department of Justice system, you know, come after Trump, political opponent, and to also seek personal gain. You know, she was trying to, you know, enrich herself you know, through her boyfriend, Nathan Way, her and him taking those lavish trips, you know, her misusing taxpayer funds, misusing that grant funding for her office, guys. Miss Fannie Willis does not care about the law. Definitely very glad to see this update, guys. All these entities coming after Fannie Willis, guys, that, you know, that pause in the case had a pause on the, you know, probes that are coming against that were launched against Miss Fannie Willis. Now they're resuming, guys. We're seeing a race to the finish line for all these entities, you know, all these investigation probes that have been launched against Miss Fannie Willis, guys, are now, you know, starting back up, guys. It's a race to see who can get to her first, who can get her either tossed off this case, you know, tossed out that district attorney spot all together, guys. Definitely exciting news to see in this update. Definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts, guys. Which one of these entities do you guys see getting to, you know, Miss Fannie Willis, that district attorney over in Fulton County first? Or do you guys see Judge Scott McAfee, you know, turning a new leaf and kicking her off the case for good for her displays in that black church once again, going up there and testifying, race baiting and playing the victim once again in that black church? This is not the first time she has done this, guys, and she has been warned. 
in the comment section, guys, and let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that share button and share this out to as many Facebook friends as possible, guys. Share the truth. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button. It doesn't cost a thing. Hit that like button for your boy. And also hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the route to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. I'll catch you guys on next week. Yo, what's happening, Retro Fam? Are you guys looking for a way to connect with your boy Retro and the Retro Fam on a day-to-day -day basis? Look no further, guys. Memberships have now been launched where you can gain exclusive access to chat with your boy Retro and the community and gain perks, guys. Just hop in the description box below um, and check out the link for memberships, guys. You can subscribe on a monthly basis to chat and have exclusive perks with your boy Retro and the Retro community, guys. Check that out in the description box today.